Name of this game is Gumballs. All right, and this is gonna be a competition. We have four teams. Team of two, team of two, team of three, team of three. When I say go, the first person in your line is gonna run out to the group of gumballs as fast as they possibly can. All right, run out to the balls, take one of them and bring it back to their line. As soon as the, la the next, that person crosses their line and brings the ball, the next person can go and try to get a ball. Basically, when there's no more balls left, the team that has the most amount of balls in their corner wins the game. Now, I have a question for you. Did I tell you that you're not allowed to steal the ball from someone who's dribbling? Did I say that? No, so you probably could do that then, right? If I didn't make a rule about it, you can do it. You're trying to get as many balls as you can. As soon as a ball is in their corner, you cannot touch it though. Go! Get out there, bring the ball and dribble it back as quick as you can. Uh, it's good to do after you do some sort of just technical training where you actually explain the technique of dribbling. Um, if you notice much of this drill, I don't actually give them any type of technical instruction. The important thing is that they're dribbling. If there's dribbling involved, it's a quality training session for them. They're just kind of now going off on their own in a fun competitive environment, now just trying to dribble and practice what we've just learned in our technical session. As long as there's dribbling involved, you're accomplishing what you come out to do.